Lounging on the opposite side of the coffee table, the demon watched me with softly glowing red eyes. The living room lamp bathed his warm skin, toffee brown with a reddish undertone, and his long thin tail coiled across the carpet, the barbed end twitching. On the table between us were two stacks of playing cards, and the prize. The plastic container held four fat cinnamon buns from a nearby bakery. The tops drizzled with white icing. I shifted my attention to my cards, the two of hearts and the queen of spades. To win, I had to play both before my opponent could empty his hand. Zagilas flicked his two cards as he studied me. Entertaining a demon wasn't easy. He hated anything that involved a screen, and convincing him to try board or card games had been a losing battle, until I realized the missing ingredient. He didn't want to play games. He wanted to win games. And winning wasn't any fun without a prize to claim. It's your turn, I pointed out. A corner of his mouth lifted, flashing a sharp canine. He brushed a finger across the top of his cards, then plucked one out and set it on the discard pile. The Jack of Hearts. He'd skipped my turn. I gritted my teeth as he tossed down his last card, emptying his hand. Vereneth, he declared smugly. I win. Clenching my jaw even tighter, I swept up the stock and discard piles. That makes two wins for you and two for me. The fifth will be the tiebreaker. The next winner gets the food, he agreed. I shuffled the cards more thoroughly than necessary, just in case he'd come up with ways to cheat. He was a demon, so I couldn't rule out the possibility. I did not cheat, Drita. Stop reading my mind. Stop yelling your thoughts at me. I froze in mid-shuffle. Wait, you- I gasped. You are cheating. You can read my mind, so you know my cards and what I'm planning to do. He snorted. I do not know your cards. But you can read my mind, so that means- I do not know your cards. At the hint of a growl in his voice, I snapped my mouth shut. Demons didn't lie and could detect lies when others spoke them, and he hated it when I suggested he was being untruthful.